Hi, I'm Don Bodin from SampleLibraryReview.com, and today we're taking a look at Orchestral Series Woodwinds Ensembles by Sonokinetic. Now, Woodwinds Ensembles is a contact player instrument, meaning that it is compatible with both the full and free version of Contact. It does load right into your Contact Libraries tab. There are two different editions of Woodwinds Ensembles. You've got a standard edition, which sells for €299.90, and an extended edition with about twice as many articulations for €399.90. For my review here, I got my hands on the extended edition, so everything I'll be showing is in that version. Now, with each of these instruments, Sonokinetic includes both 16 and 24-bit versions. And I want to make sure you know that this is a ensembles library. There's no soloists. It's three players per section. And you've got instruments for bassoons ensembles. Clarinets ensembles. Oboe ensembles. And flutes ensembles. All with a very fleshed out set of articulations for sustains, marcados, and shorts, as well as dynamics with various options. Runs with various options. And special articulations. One of my biggest criticisms with the library is there is no soloist, there's no bass clarinet, and no piccolo flute. Uh, there also isn't a full ensemble patch, which uh, I tend to use when I'm doing sketching. Now that's where a big chunk of my criticism ends, because the library nearly makes up for it with the fantastic sounding sample set, a nearly complete set of articulations, and the very innovative new key switching system, the Sonokinetic Articulation Control System. It goes by SACS for short. And basically what it is is the white keys of your key switching select your articulation bank, while your black keys select the subsets of articulations. After just a couple minutes of using this new system, I found it was extremely intuitive. Now let's talk about the sound of the library first. Uh, the ensembles were captured with three performers playing in unison in the same hall as the previously released Capriccio, Grosso, and Soto libraries. I think it's a wonderful sounding hall. Uh, tastes do differ with orchestral sounds, so be sure and listen to these demos here that I'll include in the links in the description below. With the 2D mics on, uh, the instruments perform with a very nice open sound, and you've got mic controls options for a variety of mixing different mic positions. And you've got the ability to just use a close mic position if you're wanting to send that into the same room as your other sample libraries, which is a big plus. Another thing that I like about the library is when you fade down to zero on any of your microphone levels, it purges the samples not being used and gives you a little smaller footprint. Woodwinds Ensembles also has a lot of customization options, giving you the ability to switch your key switching method over to UACC, if that's your preferred method. Now, I personally do like the sound of this uh, library. I really like the hall that they use, um, and I'm okay 
using the 2D mics, but I do have those close mics with the Woodwinds ensembles if that is what I wanted to do. The biggest con for me really is that I don't have my bass clarinet, uh, I don't have my piccolo and the big highlight pro as i probably have mentioned already is the key switching system which i've become a very big fan of very quickly after reviewing the orchestral series woodwinds ensemble my biggest disappointment isn't the lack though of the high or low solo winds but it's that i don't have the ability to get a complete orchestra with sonokinetics engine it's got a great set of articulations for the kind of composing i do personally Without spending a month or two in real world usage, I'm hesitant to say it, but I think that Sonic Kinetic has taken a big step forward in innovating a key switching with this instrument. Be sure and check the link in the description below. That'll take you to the full written review with even more details, demos, any official videos or other video reviews that I find about the instrument. Thanks for checking out the video. We'd love your support. Head over to Sample Library Review's Patreon page. This is a place for both users and developers to help us continue to create videos like this for you.